and this is Oswald, and today they're going to show you how we made this table. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. This is River. This is Oswald. And today they're going to show you how we made this table. Don't let go of me. Okay. About this table, uh, just a custom design, kind of thought of something that I wanted. Definitely wanted it kind of waist height works out really really well so you're not like slouching or anything like that uh, yeah I mean it's just take a look at it I'm gonna do a lot of crafts on it oh it's yeah gonna be good. So this is our finished product it's about 42 to 43 inches tall um, just over waist waist height for Megan and I um, we did it about four feet long by two feet wide those are just the rough dimensions the shelf here is about halfway tall. We put two inch casters on it just to be able to roll it around. It still rolls around pretty easily on the the, um, the carpet here. But yeah, I think this should be plenty enough storage for us and at least for what we're starting with. So hopefully we get good storage here and on this pegboard and actually put it to good use. All right, we chose like a, a gray color. Um, this one is actually a primer. Uh, we just, the color that we're going for seem to have matched the best with this one. So we're gonna see how it goes. If we need to change it, we can always do that. Thank you. And it's gone. Okay, so <clears throat> we had that corner that was left. I ran out of spray paint. Um, we had to go get some more, pre redo it. We really didn't like the color, um, so we ended up going with a different color. Um, it's more of just like a, a flat gray color, kind of like this. Very not too much different, but I think it should be a little bit darker than this is what we're going for. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just paint that up real quick. All right, so not much difference of a color, but I can tell it's a little bit darker. Um, we think that'll look really good on the wall right there. It's nice. Thumbs up of approval. Um, it's gonna be a matte finish, so it shouldn't reflect any light like it is right now. So it'll be a really good background. Oh yeah, thumbs up. So we 3D printed these mounts. They're about three quarters of an inch. Um, they're for behind the pegboard so that it offsets it from the wall a little bit so that when we try to hook things in it doesn't just go directly into the wall. Um, we also made these with the 3D printer. They're just kind of like little cubbies. There's also, there's nothing on it yet but a paper towel mount over here. Um, so this offset that we printed makes that possible to hook those on just so that it's not flush on the wall.
pocket holes on both sides of this log. It's perfect. So then we can just, it's just gonna be hiding on the inside. So you won't be able to see much hardware on this build. That's kind of my goal for this whole thing. It's actually really exciting. <laughs> Everybody. So we have all of our wood prepped, cut, and uh, we got our pocket holes, which I am a super fan of pocket holes right now. It looks so good. Wait till you kind of see when we're going through the actual build process. But other than that, let's go ahead and get that started right now. Hello, I'm gonna use the circular saw for the first time. About to get jiggy with it. All right, guys, now that we've got our shelf installed, um, it's just kind of a, a, just a basic fit. We just wanted to get another shelf in there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and paint this one and then we'll get this thing wrapped up and ready to present. Am I supposed to stop? Yeah, you can stop. Uh, go ahead and say that this table is pretty sturdy. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, guys. If you enjoyed what we did, put together this work table, throw the pegboard up on the wall. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Also ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos that we upload. Let us know if there's any particular content that you guys want to see, anything you want us to create, make, any kind of projects. We're super excited to bring you guys new content on creating stuff like this, uh, custom arts, and just kind of a bunch of other tutorials on stuff that we think could get a little bit more explanation and kind of more clear kind of details. Also let us know if this video had enough information for you to adequately kind of give you guys some ideas on how to create something like this on your own or if we need to add some more. We definitely want your feedback. Thanks. Okay. Definitely consider ringing that like bell. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Cut, cut, cut it, cut, 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 cut it. It's filming, yeah. I'm gonna get rid of her.